Do you have a dog that doesn't come when called? Then watch this video. I'm going to show you how to train recall in a different way. <laughs> A lot of dog owners complain that their dog has no recall. It's a very common issue. That's why over the next few weeks I wanted to talk about games to play with your dog that will improve your recall. When it comes to recall, you always have to keep one thing in mind. It's what is in it for your dog. Why would your dog come back when you call him? Do you put your dog straight back on a leash when you call him? It means it's the end of the fun for him. But if you turn your recall into games, then your dog will be highly motivated and will want to come back to play with you. So the first game we're going to play is the chasing game. How do you play the chasing game? It's very easy. The first thing is to stand in front of your dog. You stand still, you wait for your dog to look at you. You say you recall Q and you run off. Then you stop and you drop a treat at your feet. Obviously, your dog is going to come and take the treat. Initially, your dog might wonder, what the hell are you doing? But don't worry, he will get it. Just make sure that he sees you dropping treat at your feet when you stop and he will come to you. Now, I also wanted to make a quick note about the recall cue. So basically the word that you're using to call your dog back because you need to use it to play this game. The choice of the word is actually very important. You could use the name, but then if you use it for so many things, I like to use something specific for the recall. So you really create a reflex response in your dog. And that's what we want for the recall. So you can use your dog's name. I don't really recommend it. A whistle is great. I use quick quick, which is high pitched and always stays the same. Because even if you're getting a bit upset that your dog is not coming back straight away, the tone is not going to change. Because if your tone change and your dog actually can notice that you are getting angry, he's not going to come back. Why would he? So yeah, think about the cue that you're using for your recall. Quick quick or whistle is great or something else, but something that is really specific and that you will keep only for your recall. Then the next stage is exactly the same, except that instead of dropping treat at your feet when you stop running, you're going to wall a treat across the floor. Why are we going to do that? Basically to actually create distance between you and your dog. So it is actually a recall. You're sending him away and then he has to come back to play another game with you. Now, another thing to keep in mind when it comes to recall is the environment. Like, think about it. If you are in a high distraction environment with cars, birds, other dogs, people, noises, cars, a lot of things going on around, your dog is not going to be able to focus and to come back to you when you call him because all those things will be so much more interesting than you. So it's very important to start walking on recall in a low distraction environment, ideally inside your home, then you can take it in your garden and then after a few weeks of playing those games and when your dog will have that reflex response that you want, you will be able to slowly start taking it out in the world. But first, you really need to start in a low distraction environment. I hope you enjoyed this video and you're going to have a lot of fun playing this game with your dog. Next week, I will give you another recall game to play. So if you haven't done it yet, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss it. And I will see you in that video. Have a nice week. Stay safe. Bye.